Hello, welcome to this new video tutorial here. After my initial video on the chat applications, I requested uh, a subscriber requested that I made a smaller applications. So I decided to build this one as introductory one. This is small uh, real-time applications where I use uh, Spring Boot, WebSocket, Angular, and uh, Angular Material UI. So at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to have a small real-time application like this one. We will have like bananas. Pineapples, phone. So it will be a small uh, real time application like this one. And as you can see here, like if we enter here, we can see that the list is being updated. So for all users simultaneously. So that's it, how to build these small applications uh, without a further ado. What we have to do now is to start. Uh, uh, to start our initializer and even before starting our initializer is always important if it's the first time that you watch my tutorial to know the concept about everything. So when we want to build this uh, client server applications you may have like one server and uh, here we have our clients of course you have many clients and uh, at the bottom of everything here we have a TCP protocol this is uh, the TCP protocol and then here we have our web sockets. We have uh, our web sockets, and then <coughs> which is running on a single uh, over a single TCP connections. Here is our web socket here, and then on top of that one here we have our stump. So WebSocket here is just the specifications, but the actual implementations come here with Stomp that we use here, which will provide us the broker. And it is this broker that allows us to make subscription and broadcasting. So then on top of this one here, we'll have uh, the SOC. JS here and this SOC JS here will allow us to this one is just like a fallback so whenever um, uh, the, the web socket will not be available or block in the system then web, uh, this SOC JS will be used so uh, that is it here and um, yeah you may see this one we can also see yeah uh, this is uh, the overview how we can see this uh, how everything fit together and this uh, from the front end here we have angular and as you know uh, angular material ui material ui here is just like uh, pre-built component that we use in angular to make our development faster so that is it everything and uh, yeah Let's jump into the initializer. And uh, here, uh, we call it uh, Spring, uh, Spring Boot WebSocket Angular. UI, right? Angular of Angular UI and then 001. So 
that is the name of uh, these uh, projects here and in the descriptions here we can add we can add this and uh, here we use maven java the latest versions and then we also need to add uh, the components so the components that uh, we want to add now will be the web and then we'll also need to add uh, Lombok and then lastly we need to add uh, the web socket for messages and this one comes with SOCGS and STOMP then we generate we go here we right click go to properties allow this one open then now extract here it's in German here never mind yours will be in your language here is uh, the project that we extracted then we can cop cut it and then come to the directory where we make our development and paste it here then now once this one is done now we need to uh, bring our IDE and here we are going to be using uh, we use uh, VS code this VS code is what we use and uh, we go now and select the folder the folder of the projects that we are using is this one yeah for these small projects now we'll need a uh, few packages the first one was going to be the config package and then we also need uh, one DTO package and then lastly here we need a controller so these are all we need here so we start with the configurations <coughs> in the configurations now we need to create the java config class here we call it config and then we need to annotate it with configurations we annotate it with uh, configurations and then we need to implement to implement the broker we need uh, one interface called web socket broker configure here is what we get here and if you right click this one we need to implement some method here override some methods here and we have different methods and the one that we'll need here will be this configure broker and then something with endpoints register some endpoints here these are the two methods that we are going to override okay and then here we make this one final here is our broker configurations and then the first thing is to start to enable uh, the broker so we go here enable this one and put endpoints here to enable the broker here we have to specify the topic main topic and then the next one here is to set the prefix destination prefix so each time we send a message 
from the clan here you are going to prefix it with up this way and then the next thing here that is okay with uh, broker configurations is the next thing that we need to do now final and then register the endpoint <coughs> We add the endpoint here and then we specify it as WebSocket. And then, because we are going to get Angular running uh, as a client here on a different port, we set this allow origins. We can add this one to a star to allow our connections, but we restrict this one and keep it to our address localhost for 200 and then we have to enable the setback with socket. So the fallback is enabled. So here is uh, our configurations, which is uh, ready. And then the next thing that we are going to do now is to create our DTO. We are going to send a message, as you can, you have seen in in the demo. We only have one sample message, so we come here and add a new class called. Uh, Uh, call message so it is called message here and then we set one attribute as private string message content And it's a DTO, so we have to set the setters, getters, all constructors, and no constructor. So here is the no constructor, and then we are that is it for this DTO now. The next thing that we need to do now will be uh, to specify our controller. And then in order to do that one here, we start with <coughs> we call it message controller. We call this one as message controller here. We come here and then we are going to set this one as controller. Right? And then as we know and uh, we need to send a message. So in order to send a message, we will need uh, this one. We need to declare one public. We are going to return a message. We return a message, get message. Here is our method here, which also take a message. So, and then we have to specify the address mapping, message mapping here. We set this message mapping, this address where we are going to send uh, the message. Mm. 
this is the main address here and then the next one here will be sent to for broadcasting the topic so each time that we send a message to this address here then that message will be broadcasted to all the users who are all the clients who are subscribed who are subscribed to these topics here so we always have two things we always have to remember to have the main address and the topic so it is here topic slash messages right so we send to this address here and once the message reach this address just like we send this one to a school and once the message reach uh, the envelope you send an envelope to a school and once uh, the envelope reach the school here then here will be like a bot where we have name of users who are subscribed to that specific message so we are going to look into that uh, board and see uh, who is uh, subscribed to this message that has just come to this envelope then uh, the message will be passed to those all those students so that's how a little bit uh, how we can explain that but that's not the main topic so we need now to return We need to return the message. And here, remember to import the message from the DTO, right? And then we need to uh, modify uh, the message. So each time you receive a message, then we need to set uh, the message content and then in order to do that we make use of html utilities right html utilities escape whatever and then inside here you have message get content here is that here and then after we do this one here everything is okay we have our configurations here here is a controller and here is our dto and then everything is ready now everything is ready to move on so what we can do now is to build maven clean oh sorry maven clean install Then Maven Spring Boot Run. Okay, everything is running now. Now let's go now and build our front end in order to do that one. Uh, we'll need to create a new project. NG, I suppose that you already have Angular uh, installed in your system. Here is the version that I have here. So now we have go to NG new, call this one front end. And of course, we take uh, the default. No.
install it. Okay, after that one is installed, as you remember, our main target was to use uh, Angular Material. So we also need to add Angular Material UI in our Angular project. So ng add here. Oh, sorry, we need to move to front end, right? And then we can add Angular Material. ng at arobas at angular slash material. So here we are prompt with uh, some questions here. What would you like to proceed? I will say yes. And then I take the default blue and then set up global material typography, what we do, we take the default, no. And then hmm, include and enable animations, yes. Successfully install, and then once that one is installed now, then the next thing that we need is to is create a service. So, ng generate service and then we are going to cr create our service inside a folder services we call our service message services so uh, this is what we just created now inside here we have our service which is ready and then uh, that is it, and the next thing that we have to install now will be uh, Stomp JS. Yes. We have installed Stomp JS, and then we also need to install uh, Stomp client, uh, this uh, SOC client. So once this uh, sub client is installed, then the next thing that we uh, need to do now is uh, is to go to the Angular here, Angular.json file. and enable our SOC client. So we add this uh, allow common GS dependencies and then we set here this SOC client. So we enable that one. We have enabled that. So now if we go now and build our applications, ng build, ng build, ng saved okay it's running we can see that everything is running here is our default applications is running and then we go here to the console 
everything is running. Then now we need to prepare our front end to connect to the server. So in order to do that one here, we'll need to start from here. And then first we implement on init. Here is on init here. Come overwrite this method. We are overriding this method here. So each time that uh, this uh, component is initialized, this one will be called. So the next thing that we'll need here will be we are going to send a message some operations that we are going to do sending messages so we have two things we are going to send a message whenever we write something and click then we send a message so these are the two things that we do for now and then now we need uh, some in order to do that one we need to have uh, some attributes here. So here we declare a variable message that holds a message input by the user in the form. And then here is private. Uh, okay, here is the array of message. So we will see have this private private message, and here is an array of message that will store all the messages, uh, messages here. This will be a, like a list that will store all the messages received from the uh, socket broker. So that is it. And then now we need to inject. We need to inject our service. So private message service private message service that is it here okay then then we are there and then now we need to go now in uh, we need to go now in our service and implement our service here so in order to do that very interesting the first thing that we have to do here and remember this is a single term here this provided in root here we are making this one by these notations here we make this service as a single term uh, service meaning that we are going to have only have all all we have one instance of that service running so the first thing that we need to do is to declare our stump client Here is our stump client keyboard is betraying me. Uh, or here, then null equal null the default values. And then now we need to import it is not found we need to import the client here from stomp which is there and then the next thing here is um, to declare our behavior observable so message observables here 
in order to do that one so we go to private message subject equal new behavior then this one is going to be like this string an array then that way okay we are good to go and then now we can declare now our observables message so messages here with the dollar sign equal to this message subject as observables So in order to declare these observables here, so the first thing is that we make this list, it's just like we make, declare this one as a list. And in order to see what is uh, happening in the list, then we are going to make use of this one. So this one is just like a big box. And then this one is a window that allows to see what is inside the box. So we are going to throw the message inside this list. and messages inside this list and in order to see uh, those messages content in the list then we are going to pass through this windows which is the messages dollars so that is it that's a bit a big concept here and then hmm, now we need to connect and send a message we need now uh, to connect right we need Sorry, we need to connect and then beside connecting, we need to send a message. Whenever we press on button, send. And then once the message is sent here, then we need to add the message to the list. So if the flow is correct here, here we have declared one big box, one list here. And then we have declared this one as a window that allows us to see what is inside the list. Then we are going to use this connect to connect to uh, the back end. Our client here will connect to the back, 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 uh, back end. And in the front end, whenever you click on send here, the message will be uh, uh, sent uh, to this uh, to this to the back end using this list and then of course here we are going to add the message to 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 the list so that's what is uh, going to happen now so and then of course to send a message here you will need to have a message string in order to add the message, we also need a message string, right? <coughs> so <coughs> once that one is done here, so we need to declare connections here. So here is where we make these initializations here. So we initialize. Uh, uh, this socket, uh, this soc GS socket, uh, web socket connections to the server here. Our server is running on this port here, and if we go in here, we can see that we have this is the endpoint. So we are connecting now to our back end. We connect now to our back end. Then we need 
to make this import. In it, uh, it is not found. Okay, that is not found. So I will come back to that. And then before coming back to that now, uh, what we need to do now is to do this followings here. Okay, just make faster. <laughs> so uh, here is how we uh, create a, a new client instance, client, uh, Storm client instance and configure it here. So we configure it and add a delay. If the connection is lost, then it will be reconnected after uh, five seconds here. So this is a fallback using uh, we use SOC uh, GS here as a socket factory. So that is it here. And then on connect, we connect that one, one, we lock the connections if it's successful. And then once we are connected now, the first thing here will be to subscribe. Uh, we subscribe to a topic. So we are subscribing to a topic here so that uh, we are notified and then we receive a message when we receive a message here we are going to pass it and add in the list in the list so sending uh, same goes here we also need to cache the errors And then it's the same thing that is happening here. So <clears throat> now I get uh, this error here. Okay, at the message, we need to make this one private. So we make this one private, it's okay. Then after that one is there. Now we need to send this message now in order to send this message. So I will take this one. And uh, where is the arrow here? Okay, they are here. Of course, I did install this. I think this one. Okay, it's up to date. Could not find sock. You need to install this. Okay. That was what was missing. We have installed that. The types, and then now. Uh, 
object is possibly null hmm. is possibly null what is the problem This is the yes, the connect. Okay. Object is possibly null. Where is uh, this issue here? And then, okay, where is that? And oh, I mess up. Okay, then it's better now. So on connect now. So that is it here. We handle the error here. Then we activate uh, the client. So here we send a message. If it is connected, if it's connected here, here is the destinations to which we are sending our message. Remember, it is that address. And then this is a message uh, content that we are setting. So we set this message content here, as you can see, in the DTO objects here. So we need to pass our JSON and format it so that it's uh, recognized by these uh, objects here. Then the last thing here will be uh, will be here for adding the message, right? We come that uh, to that one, adding our message. message subjects here is our message we take this message here and then we add it we log first and then we add it in the list so here we update the list with a, a new messages with a new message sorry then we come now when we come now in the app uh, components and then yeah that one will be uh, the easiest uh, one to do so here and then on init here this uh, message connect and then we subscribe here's our connections here
then we send a message here it sent and then now what is the issues this Then where is the, uh, the issues here? String. String, okay, where is the capital strings here? Message is not assignable. Send a message. Was this string is not assignable to oh, where is capital string here? I don't see that. If I come here, oh, to behavior here, I get this string here. Sorry, here is the string here. So that's why we are getting that problem. So it can happen. Yeah, that's the problem with the life coding. So um i already missed where i was here okay then if that one is okay now now we need to prepare our front end okay i will move a bit faster now and then so here is our front end Easy, busy, then we come here, then uh, we need to add some modules because they standalone applications here. And then I will take these imports. We need to import all these modules. And then the last thing that we have to do is our CSS. Uh, our CSS here, 
and then we can come here and see that we have the message here and this the button here when we click on button message will be sent so whatever we entered here in this input here will be sent and then we have a table here which is showing all the message uh, entered here so we go here and then get the list of messages and then try to iterate and show the message in the in the table so here is a math table that we use here so uh, that should be okay now and if we build our projects so ng build ng build so we have exceeded here the maximum size but it should not be a problem okay so we exceeded that one we need to fix this error here our budget here is uh, we have exceeded by 74k k bit yeah so k bytes and kilobytes and uh, we need to go in the package here inside angular here and then we move it is a warning right 500 here we need to move this one to 600 and this one to 400 so that's okay and you saved And said, okay, then we are almost there. Oh, the global issue stuff. So we got this error here. You have to fix it. And then quickly, what we have to do now is to install some packages. We install uh, here. I will install this global and process packages then on that one is installed then we need to come back here in the package.json package.json here then we need to add the browser we add this uh, browser here and then we need to go now and create uh, the polyfill inside the source polyfillsfiles.ts we have created that one here and then we set this one as content of it and as you know when we create a new file in angular here we need to come here and then specify the directory of our new file right we have to specify that and then same thing goes here in the angular polyfills I will also set this one there and then now ng build I hope you haven't forgotten anything ng save
it's running. Okay, so we can see that uh, it is better if we add. Okay, we still have some problems here. It's running, then origins. Access is denied. Okay, what have we done? What have we done here? Let's go. Uh, what uh, have we done here? Where are we connecting to? Here is the local host. Okay, we have connected to this one and then here localhost 200 for 200 No access allow is now. Let's do this a bit. If we stop this, and restart, uh, and run it so we set this allow origin this is a local os 4200 and this is a web socket this that And then uh, that is it. Okay, we are getting this error now, and then. Oh, I see in the configurations here, we forgot to enable this WebSocket broker. Enable WebSocket broker here. And then if we build this, stop. And then Maven. Clean install to build it. Hopefully, it will work this time. Okay, it's working now. Maybe. Hello. If we type enter and then we are subscribed but the message doesn't show up here. Hmm. Interesting. And then back end is not receiving. 
in a backend we had uh, in the controller <coughs> if we try to lock what is happening here let me try to lock and see if you receive the message or not here is topic messages uh, the, here list of messages If I build again, if you run. Okay, that, okay, the message is received here, so we have a problem here in a front end, here is topic message, uh, we subscribing to that. Oh, sorry, 3S here. It should be 2S here, messages. Hmm. I stop this, clean that, build again. Okay, so we had this problem here by writing 2S, uh, 3S instead of 2. If you run, it is running now. Our front end is running. Hello. Okay, then it's working now. And if we have another client connecting me, we can see that it's working as expected. Okay. And we can see everything in the back end here. As well as here, the connection is established, connected, receive data, and then here. Yeah. You receive all the message like here we subscribe this is subscription zero here message type this is destinations content length is that here so i hope that this uh, has been uh, useful to you uh, of course we had some problems so it's always good to have some problem and troubleshoot them together and for this one here, we had here one problem here with double S here. And of course, here also where we forgot to uh, enable this one. But if we, uh, without this one here, we face problem with the cause uh, CORS issues. Then after adding that one, say it's working properly. So stay tuned for the next video. Bye.